Hey everybody, welcome back. Simeon here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I brew a V60 pour over. So my recommendations for brewing on the V60, typically I will only brew eight or 12 ounces of coffee at a time. So I will use 18 grams of coffee and I will add 300 grams of water, or I'll use 24 grams of coffee and add 400 grams of water. So those are the two recipes that you could, um, you could utilize this brewing method for, um, and either one of those will work. Just depends on how much coffee you're wanting to yield. So for this, I'm gonna use a fine, maybe a medium fine grind, um, but typically I'm going to use a smaller coffee particle um, that extracts a little bit quicker in this brewing method. The thing you have to watch out for on the grind setting is that if you're too fine, you'll stall out the brewer and the water will take too long to draw down into the decanter. If you're too coarse, it will run too freely and you will actually not get enough contact time between the water and the coffee to extract it properly. So we wanna create the just the right amount of surface area that we can extract from it quickly without clogging the filter. All right, so now how do we actually brew the, with the V60? Before we get started, we need to make sure that we rinse the paper filter thoroughly. Sometimes I will do this two or three times and I'll use hot water so that I'm not only rinsing that paper filter, but I'm preheating the, the brewer. Next, you're gonna add the coffee to the brewer and tear it off on your scale. Then you'll add twice as much water as you added coffee to the brewer, pick it up and swirl it around. This will be the bloom that'll help degas that coffee. So once the coffee's been allowed to sit for about 45 seconds, we're gonna begin to add our first pour. And this pour is going to be tight circles in the center of the coffee bed, usually about a half dollar in circumference. And you want to pour at a pace of about 200 grams in 30 seconds. So um, we should finish between a minute 10 and a minute 15 with this pour. And we shouldn't have filled the brewer up more than um, three quarters of the way. Finally, at about a minute 45, we're gonna start our final pour. Again, we're going to use small circles in the center until we get to about 350 grams. And then we're going to swirl to the outside edge and we're gonna try and knock down grounds from the wall of the coffee brewer. Once that's done, we're gonna pick it up one more time and we're gonna gently swirl it around. And this is just to ensure that we get as even of a bed as possible so that as the water draws down, we get an even extraction from that coffee. The total brew time should be between three minutes and three and a half minutes. And that's just going to depend on how quickly you pour. As I said, I typically pour about 100 grams every 15 seconds. 
Um, if you pour too quickly, the water is actually going to draw down very fast. And if you don't pour fast enough, the brew may stall out and you may actually end up with times that exceed four minutes. Finally, if you taste your coffee and you find that it is weak and soury, um, the best thing that you can do is just adjust your grind so that it is finer. If the coffee is overly strong, bitter, and has a dry mouthfeel, um, your grind setting may be too fine and you just need to use a coarser grind setting in that case. As always, our goal is to extract from all of this coffee as evenly as possible um, and then extract as much as possible. And this will give us a very balanced, um, very sweet cup of coffee. Um, so practice with it, make some small adjustments, one adjustment at a time, and uh, I guarantee that if you work at it, you'll get a delicious cup of coffee from this brew. Questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope wherever you are, you have a blessed day. I'll see you guys later. Cheers. Thank you.